that is fucking, so that was so <laughs> wooden out Blake. That was also unreal. so accurate. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that is even great. Even the those are like the exact glass frames I wear. The glasses <laughs> were even on point. I'm like, oh, that, I, I am that man. Hey guys, it's me, Tommy Smokes here from the show Barstool Radio. Thank you for watching, and please like, subscribe, and leave a comment on what you want to see us talk about next week on Barstool Radio. This has been Tommy Smokes. By the way, Climber, was, actually, let's get Climber, because I think at one point, actually, Climber said, I'm never going to have another job. Oh, well, that's true. That, so that's and Dave went, you're going to be unemployed. Well, that, <laughs> I don't Climber! That, I always tell Clemmer, I'll wait till he comes over here just in case, but like... Come on on, come on on, Clemmer. Like, for Clemmer, like, this is, uh, I always joke with Clemmer, like, What's this up, is Clemmer? his, like, he always says it's his last job, like, this is, you know when, like, your dad retires and he gets, like, a job at a grocery store? <laughs> yeah. That's what this is for Clemmer. He's like, this is what it for you, me. What did yeah, you, wait, you what? like, put it on. You're, this is only what we had to do with Dave yesterday, where it's like, what do you mean is you're, like, you're... Well, you, well, I mean, not young. to get too, you, you've oh, got wait, much, you like, you've got... Fire? So, I was... Yeah, wait, just take them, they, they may yell at me when I what hold it. Just pinch, put a clip on your neck, yeah. They, uh... Aye, aye, aye. You want me to do it? I can do it. That's the most intimate thing you can do to somebody. Oh, uh, like, on them. And I, when I do it for someone, I feel like I'm like, like I got to kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just in sales, sales. for okay. 20 years. I did okay. I didn't, did enough where I don't have to have debt. And like we sold the house that we made a little bit off that. My wife does very well. So and Respect. I don't, we don't have any kids. So that, I, that's why I didn't want to say until you said yeah, it. Fuck so that's right. why that's why I didn't want to say that just until Clemmer said. But like yeah, Clemmer like he doesn't need like you like you kind of it's like whatever. Like are we if, talking like. She does well, or is like she does like really well. Like, she does well, uh, but like we don't have any kids. We don't have a lot of you know. Yo, if you don't have kids, you, have, you, you, you all you have to do is make like eighty grand. <laughs> if you don't have kids, it's like yeah, I didn't think it just piles up anyway until yesterday. You know about credit cards? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, I mean, I'm, we're, we're lucky. We're in a speed. It's like we don't have any student loan debt, don't have any credit card debt, and that takes that can. But regardless, like um, no, I guess where my headspace is like, look, I can have ups and downs, and like I'm gonna do something so stupid in two days. And I'm gonna be such a fucking asshole that like, so like I just do I just I do stupid shit. So well, like, and, and I think this, like, in the what what everybody should absolutely put down in ink. Dave's gonna get you on something. You're gonna do something stupid. Yeah. And he's gonna be like, and 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 it's just because deal the deal with the devil or because. No, I mean I also did something. Watching. I did like, something stupid. It's often gonna be I didn't, I didn't blog during the weekend. Like yeah, yeah, like yeah. Labor Day weekend. He made a great point. Like we just had layoffs. Yeah. You didn't blog Labor Day weekend. I mean, did I? I spent that time thinking of blogs, but I I could have written a blog. Yeah. Like that's yeah. that. And so that's stupid. So I'll do something stupid again. I'm sure. Now, I feel like you had like three or four moments. You had the I'm 43 years old. You only get 80 years on this planet. I'm gonna go down swinging. These were, you know, like quotable, uh, like sound bites. You know, were you? Was that? Is that? Is that a uh, a clemmer like staple? Were you like I? You know, are you I dramatic would, like that? Is I would like, well, Clemmer's yes. a quotable when, guy. I would say. You see yeah. when Clemmer fucking went out? What's his dick? The fucking Bishop Sycamore Bishop guy. Bishop Sycamore guy. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. dude. Can we run the clip? The sheriff, the, dude. The, 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 I think the sheriff might stick. By the way, that's like the only thing I this the clip. Yeah, if you thought he went a Dave, you look at that one. That creeps me out. By the way, that is so terrifying. That was so wooden out Blake. That was unreal. Also so accurate. Yeah, yeah, that is great. Even those are like the exact glass frames I wear. The glasses were even on point. I'm like, oh, that I am that man. That Halloween is gonna be gross. Um, so yeah, you had very dramatic moments that were very like underdogish, and like I think uh, like the internet rallied. What was your reaction when you saw the internet reaction of like? I mean, let's be honest. Like, the internet is in agreement that you bodied Dave. And people have been awesome, but like I, I mean, like I said I, you can't. It, people are very nice. I'm glad you know people. Just be careful still, here, okay? Still, no, I mean, I'm glad you scroll through mentions a lot last night. Were you like, oh, yeah, Clem, I mean, I got Clem Clem. tagged in a bunch of tweets and stuff, but I, I mean, I'm always happy that it's good. But like I said, I could do something stupid at the end. At the end of the day, like, I'm happy that people are happy with me right now. But at the same token, all that matters, though, is on, I know it sounds cliche and lame, but like the office, like, I care about the people here and it's like the respect of people here. That's <laughs> all I give to <laughs> <laughs> And, 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 and that's, that's, that's also why it and sucks like, that you were uh, kind of the, the one. On the other side of this, because you're you're really like the last person that I don't mind. The other I would side worry of it, about. I like I like. No, but the like there, we 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 lost the thread yesterday, or th that that side argument went left when all of a sudden we were talking about like doing detriment to the company, Black Lives Matter, all that stuff. I I thought we were like okay, we are. We, that Dave versus Clemmer became a whole separate I'll, thing that I was like, I don't know what's going on. That will happen to me a fair amount on shows where like I, I think I think it's what happened to Dave where like 
I'll be talking about something, and then in my head, I'm like, oh, wait, dude, you're talking about something else right now. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah right. Like, yeah, like, like Dave, uh, when Dave texted me right after he tweeted, quote tweeted you and said, I'm coming on radio. And that, for me, I was like, oh, this is a clemmer, or not even a clemmer thing, but who, who can speak up and who can't sort of thing. So that was like clearly Dave's issue because that was when he like was like, I'm coming on tomorrow. So in his mind, I think he was equating it to like when, when there was a lot of talk about him being racist and there were people speaking out and it was things that can stick. And I think he equated that to it can stick on you if you're known as the person who laughed at layoffs. Right. And it was just this like, I, I see where you're going, but I didn't think it was. You, the th here's the thing about Dave, and I've always said this because I, I mean, I did radio with him long enough, and I've lost uh, many, many debates to him. Dave usually only goes in when he's got the goods, when he has, you know, top hand. He either has the receipts that prove it, he has logic or truth on his side, uh, or, and, and then when he does and he knows it, it's like you're done. When he, if he, if it's, you know, uh, like a gray area, he usually will like argue it and debate it, but he's not going to make like a thing of it. And I think he found himself in a spot where it's like, there is, I, I guess I can understand what he's saying that if you're the last man on the bench, you shouldn't harm the company. Of course, that's just logical, right? Right. But, but at Barstool, we're a place where everyone can speak up and say these things and blah, blah, blah. So it really was the only time I've seen him in that gray area where it's like, I don't know, man, this is kind of old by the ways, you know? I, I also, from Dave's point of view, too, I think it's important to acknowledge, I've never run a, whatever, hundred million dollar company before. So he's going to look at it from perspective that yeah, I cannot wife does that. understand. <laughs> <laughs> she does not. Uh, but like, but like I, I, so he's going to come at it from an angle that I can't even perceive or yes. understand. Yes. So you have to respect People that. People forget that, that a little bit, too. Yeah, and it's also like, the guy also like bought the company back, and so we all have jobs. If he didn't buy the company back, I'm... I'm fucking gone. Yeah. You know, we're on a beach in contract. Bermuda. Just serving your wife like uh, my ties, oh, eating like, your oh, grapes on the oh, beach. Yeah. <laughs> running, running all the errands, doing the dishes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, but, but like, so I mean, you have to understand. Like, everyone's gonna have different perspectives. So I'm gonna have a different perspective on this than even some other people here might, just because I'm older and at a different point in my life. Sure, sure. And just like, you know, he's gonna have a different perspective. 43, for the record. 43, 43. that's right, I'm a man. Uh, <laughs> and so I, I think that's also kind of got lost in it, where it was like, it became, I don't say combative, because we both did listen to each other. But I think it came, became a little bit like argumentative, where maybe it's just like, we're just kind of coming up from different angles. Well, what's tough is, uh, I, we, we, I don't know if you heard, we were mentioning like, there's barstool rules. And then at in, any moment, if Dave, wants to be like, hey, this is a real world thing when it comes to running a $100 million company. And it's like, oh, well, okay, yes. But I thought we were in the circus, basically. <laughs> like you were operating under circus rules where you can say what you want and do what you want, no matter if you're at the top or the bottom. You can say, I can talk about you, I can talk about you, I, free speech, all that shit. But if the boss comes in and then just says, hey, don't do anything detrimental to another person's show, you gotta just be like, Okay, <laughs> you know, it's like, I, I, which is I, kind of unfair. It's a gray That's... area there. So like, we talk about real world. So I have worked in the real world, and like, I once worked for a company. My boss was doing things that were corrupt, and were doing some really shady stuff. And I yelled at him in the middle of the sales floor, and I didn't lose my job. <laughs> like, I thought it was bullshit. And I was I, like, "What the fuck are you doing? This is bullshit." I will pay a large sum of money Bro. if I get footage of that. Turn like, that into the fucking gif of him. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, and that guy was probably like, Dave was like, why the fuck am I oh, As a matter of fact, <laughs> I was in the real world okay, and I knew. How big. <laughs> I had my, my boss, so this was like two bosses ahead of me. And my boss dragged me <laughs> out and like, was like, I remember we, this was in New York City. Was the office, You're just a little fire office crack. like, <laughs> clamor, uh, clamor, after, clamor. No, no, it wasn't like that. It was afterwards, it was like, you know, thank you. Or like, you know, I appreciate it. And then my boss, well, his well, boss, well, his boss. What was he doing? Uh, I... Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but like it was uh, kind of getting sales that were fraudulent, put it that way. Okay. Like basically writing fake sales that when the, that he knew that people uh, were never going to pay. the old Dunder Mifflin Infinity situation. <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of only with, yeah. with, yeah, with tax dollars. It yeah. was like a lot of really like, you know, exploiting okay. stuff, really shitty stuff. So I was like, that's bullshit. That sucks. And then my, like I said, my boss's boss's boss was happy I did that at the end of the day. But, you know, I definitely got dragged out. And I remember I was at Madison Square Park. I was getting yelled at by myself. You can't do that. You, can't, you come to me for it. I'm like, no, it was just wrong. And I, you know, I yelled at it. Like, I also, like, I was in a situation where I did sales. If I lost my job, I just go get another sales job. This job's different because I'm not going to, if I don't have this job, well, I know job. this. This is my last, job. last but job. But I also know, like, there's not another, like, 
opportunity like this yeah. anywhere else. This is such a unique, this is a unicorn situation. So on that note, did you think there was a chance you get fired yesterday? Because almost everybody uniformly thought there was yeah, a chance yeah, to happen on radio. I did. I, I thought I thought there was a shot. Were you like, so you were sitting there like like Dave was on a yeah, one on point a rant, I stared at and him. And you were thinking like I'm like, about to get fired. I said that's your choice, and I kind of stared at him. He stared at me, and I'm like, all right, let's see what happens. <laughs> but like, <laughs> be but, careful right now, bro. No, I mean, yeah, no, yeah, but yeah. That, that's what that's what I was going through my mind. I said we'll see what. Ha I, I love being here. I love I love the people I work you with. You were genuinely. prepared. You were prepared to be fired for. That, I was like, well, I and thought, for this cause. I thought in my head, I'm like, all right. Well, the good news is because we moved all the stuff. I haven't brought all my stuff in my desk. I'm like, all I gotta do is grab my bag and I'm gone. So I did have that thought go through my head. So my lamb had my wife pick me up in our lamb. <laughs> if you didn't have a sugar mama, been to my, you've been if you didn't have, have you know, a sugar it's mama, it's with ginormous. Your no, it's it's I think I think you got this this you know cash cow at home. She's like, I'm gonna go say whatever I want. That's a good distinction. That's not it. I like no, to do it's like things that are right. That's all. That's all. And my opinion, but I also think Dave was necessarily wrong. I think from my perspective, I was right. I think from Dave's perspective, his ultimate. Thing always has to be company first. Yeah. Yeah, because it protects all of our jobs. Yeah. So we're just a different perspective. Um, yeah, that's just where I was coming from. But I'm uh, not. I'm not upset at all, and I'm not. I. I. Yeah. I'm, there's like zero. I, I don't know. I hope he's not upset. I don't oh, know. Oh no, he. Did you guys, he did you guys talk to each other last night at all? Oh, uh, we exchanged some texts, and it was it was fine. Like I, I don't oh, know. What's that? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna say it was text. It was fine. But like I, I it was nothing you that was. I'm sorry. He already read the text. Already read the Kirk text show, back. So yeah. Um, so come on. So we can you can. Yeah, I know. Then listen to Kirk's show. I, I'm not gonna. That's not. That's, I'm yeah, not gonna turn do. this off. Sorry. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm not gonna do that. That's fine. Yeah. But I, I stand by the text. Obviously, hey, this. Yeah. I, 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 Clemmer is quite the. Uh, <laughs> is that? What's going on? Oh wow. No. <laughs> Um, um, Clemmer, you really are like a actually, man of honor and and gosh, he you live is, by your code. So that like I fuck up. I, all I like time. to be I fuck like, up all the time. No, 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 that's, that's not, not that's not, not true. true. Like you can have a code and I a man am, of honor, and you fuck up. Uh, but yeah. you really like you you have your moral code and you don't deviate from it. You're you know thinking about like Dave being like you got to bring money in. Any thoughts of maybe a T-shirt? You got this arm like. I'm, Dude, Quemmer I'm 40, is so fucking I'm 43, old. I'm a man. Quemmer, whoever I'm, started I'm that Quemmer. is. <laughs> I'm 43, I'm a man, I'm Quemmer with a W. Uh, a picture of your little face. And just like little, little font on the back, like this is my last job ever. <laughs> <laughs> you got, you're getting thousands of replies. It could sell. Yeah. I, I, Listen, I, the one thing yeah. Dave loves the most. Yeah, I mean, if, that, if it money. helps, if, it, if, it's a merch, if that's a merch thing that would help, then sure, I don't also, you know, I don't, I don't know. W what, what if maybe, maybe Barstool Radio will put, uh, a T-shirt on. Sale. I love that. So it's not clever. I love that. Now I think we. This might be a pasta, pasta boy situation. Remember that? M Smitty sold pasta yeah. boy shirts. Dave referenced nobody, that. Yeah, nobody would buy them. Yeah, there is a chance that people are like oh, I tweeted about Clem. Right? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm buying a T-shirt. But I don't know, man. He's got the weird Minifan. Co are the Minifans on your side? Uh, I think so. I, 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 because uh, they, they have their weird code too. I think they hate your guts because Kirk doesn't like they, you. Well, but also, you're speaking up for free well, speech. Well, Kirk, had me, Kirk they... had me back in a couple weeks ago, so I think we've. Oh, you guys are in good terms. We've yeah. ended some fences. So, okay. Um, yeah. I think he was impressed with your performance last night, yesterday. Yeah, I, ho I hope so. Yeah. I mean, I, I'll say honestly, like, doing that show and like being able to be with Kirk for like a year when I was literally a nobody in doing literal podcasts in a basement. You were for a full you. year. I would go going once a week for a year. Okay. So like that helps you. That helps, and just being with someone that smart and that quick, like that helps you stay on your toes. Sure. So that that helped enormously too. But yeah, it was it was. Yeah, you know, I said I'm glad to come on. It's always fun to come on the show. Obviously, that was a uh, intense situation, but like I'm not. I like said I I'm not upset at all. Okay. Uh, let's take some calls. I mean, you can stick around if you want. You know what? Why don't you just get count, get get compact for the people real quick? Oh, of course. If, if you're unaware, uh, this is this is uh, Clemmer. Yeah, oh yeah. This is Clemmer's. Uh, Wait, sit here and, and I, take calls as your compact. I'm gonna take my shoes. Oh my God, we're getting the dogs out. Well, so Clemmer's. I don't like when people stand on front of. Okay. <laughs> He's got two rules. He's a man. <laughs> I'm a man. Uh, well, one of the things that you can do better than anyone else is get compact, which sounds weird, but when he does it, it's like, holy shit, look how small he becomes. He's so, he looks like a pillow. He's like a little baby. He's, he's. <laughs> It's like this. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's the best. It's when I heard best. that, I was like, "What? what how impressive can it be?" And he did it. I was like, "Holy shit!" He, he basically yeah, disappeared. Oh, I, like, he, that he was a great fake fart noise too. I don't. Yeah, I don't know when everyone else discovered it. When I first discovered Clever's compactness was on a, a bracket episode, where he also revealed that he has just the best fake fart of all time. Clever, 
Clemmer just stole that episode. It was unbelievable. His fart's like so good that it's like not real. It's like it's like a movie fart. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like Barcel Radio is back. I'm not gonna do the clap thing. Barcel Radio is back. Please subscribe. Leave a comment. Hit the fucking bell thing. Uh, leave a comment what you want to talk about, who you want to talk about, who you want to bring on the show. Thank you. Goodbye.